A Deer Park woman made a call to 911 just moments before she was murdered. But help never came. 911, what are you reporting? Hello? And that was the entire 911 call that Shannon Starbuck made on the morning of December 1st. It was just 10 seconds long, beginning with what you heard there. Sounds like a struggle and the dispatcher requesting more information. What we do know now is that Shannon Starbuck was about to be murdered, allegedly by her ex-husband. The dispatcher called back to see if someone needed help. Hi, this is Shannon. Please leave a message. But what happened after that call back is what the 911 center says was a break in protocol. There should have been a second call back just to make sure. And then that call should have been forwarded to the sheriff's office to check out. That never happened. And Shannon Starbucks body was found two days later. KXOI 4's Annie Bishop joins us now tonight from the 911 center. And Annie, what went wrong? Well, the supervisor here is saying the employee that took that call, simply put, made a big error. Um, as you said, Nadine, that employee should have called back Shannon Starbuck's cell phone twice. However, he only called back once. Now, 911 uh, director here, Lorley Mazel, says the error was discovered when making rec uh, recordings of this call for detectives. She says the employee who made this mistake is a 17-year veteran call receiver with the 911 center. Shannon Starbuck called 911 at 9.17 a.m. on December 1st. Now, on that recording, as you just heard, you can hear what sounds like a struggle, uh, but we're told the call receiver did not pick up until about a second later and did not hear those sounds. Now, because uh, the call receiver only called back once, that call was never transferred to the Spokane County Sheriff's Office dispatcher, so deputies were never sent to her home that morning. Now, Mazel says starting Monday, all 54 call receivers and supervisors will undergo refresher training on how to handle hang-up calls. I think the best thing is that we continually do training and review processes and procedures, and this is having a specifically review 911 hang-up call. Uh, we're here to serve the public, and this was a very tragic situation. And tonight, the Spokane County Sheriff's Office says it's unclear whether or not had this call been handled differently, if it would have changed uh, the outcome at that home uh, that early December morning. Of course, in any sort of emergency, deputies want to be there as quickly as possible. But because they were never notified, those deputies never had a chance to go to her home that morning. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.